Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Leotron campaign. This is episode 12. We pick it up from turn 77 in the spring season of 198. Okay, so we are back at it uh, after a very long episode. Uh, we're going to continue our siege of uh, Longya. Uh, Tao Tian's forces seems depleted. I don't think they can take it, so no rush. Uh, we're going to just move our forces in. They can come in to reinforce. We'll go have this unit uh, deal the siege. Let's get the burnt buff boosted. Yeah, they can't do it by themselves. Um, there is a local leader here, or basically the administrator for the yellow turbans. They seem to have a military infrastructure building built as well, so it's not a forge. I was wrong about that. We're going to continue siege. And we're going to send them down. Maybe, yeah, yeah I guess here's fine. We want to attack that next. Close victory. We'll take it. I'm in no rush. After taking this, we can rest. So let's delegate here. Alright, mostly militia unit getting wiped. As you can see, our Chen Royal Guards are untouchable here. Alright, Zhang Liao leveled up. Wonderful. Alright, charge negate. Um, patience, diligence. They're all important. I think we'll get charge negate first. Alright, we're going to have them trail over here. That's our next target next turn. This army can rest up and then return over here. Because I think Cao Cao's army is right here. They're coming. Uh, we have one character here. Wait. Okay, Han Empire Liu Zhang. We released him before, yeah? That's why he's so familiar, okay. He's not that great. We're just gonna pass. Um, might as well check items. And let's get our faction council. They want a grand tutor. We can make it happen. And Confucian Temple. We will get that. So, someone to do the level ups. Well, he would work. Plus 60 satisfaction. That's pretty insane. Basically, we don't want a Sentinel. We don't want a Commander. Anyone else would work. We probably want someone high level. And I want a friendly court if we can. Huh, this could work. Um, I will need to check his traits. Oh my god. Jashi was married to someone. We might need to fix that. Hmm, Xunshuan is not bad either. Do we want... We probably want strategist boost. Oh, actually... Yeah, Xunshuang actually as Grand Tutor makes a lot of sense in a lot of ways. So he's our, he's our general. He has a nice unique background. He's a little old, so he might die. He's Xun Yu's uncle. Uh, he's part of the what's called the Eight Dragons of Xun. Um, they have eight brothers. Uh, the Xun family is a really big deal in, in Chuan. And he's one of the eight. And they were all uh, very famous for being scholars and being um, government officials. Um, that's why Xun Yu is also, you know, became famous later on. Had seven really, really good uncles and one really strong dad. The bonus not so great. He's about to die. That's the only problem. Or else he would be great for, you know, if we have an imperial court. The minus 5% corruption. Okay, maybe not him. Sun Qian doesn't get along. Zhang Rong, Zhang Hong. Zhang Hong is the one who will work out. Yeah, I think we're keeping him for the long run. He's only 44. 
He's pretty great. Can't complain. Let's put him in there. And we probably should have... Yeah, I guess we can't get the Invoke Council and get the mission and get him as well. We'll see him again in five turns. This is a temple building. Okay, we'll get that done naturally. Now our reforms. We are kind of abandoning the green route. And we're probably going to go pursue our industry and commerce buildings right now. This one's important too. This one's entrepreneur. Well, right, let's go with this. It's pretty basic. We need that one. Eventually, we need this. All right, let's get this first. That opens up a lot of building options here. Uh, we're going for a small regional city, so we can upgrade the temple. Um, yes, the assignment is in place for the farmer. So this will only be two turns. Wait, how come? I thought it was four turns. It was six, wasn't it? I mean, I'll take it. And that goes to level five, so we can recall him and send him somewhere else to do the same thing. Okay, this is the commander we just captured. Yeah, it's a military infrastructure building. Which I feel like we should keep. Because this is going to be a peasantry food, you know, with a little bit of commerce, but we don't have to worry about that commerce portion. We just have to worry about food production. So Long Yai and Dong Lai are basically going to be food producing commanders for us. We should be able to build something here now. We just got to reform for it. Ah, uh, we're just poor. Right. Forgot about that. Poverty is a big issue. Same situation here. We can't make this move until we have another fervor reducing mechanism, which means we have to upgrade this. Uh, so we just got to wait. Our population is really helpful because you can see when you have population, high population, you get a discount to the number of construction turns for settlements as well. So it's really fast, um, but we need to get our economy rolling. So that brings us back to our Western front where Ma Teng has another army. And Ma Teng has a second army, and Dong Zhuo has another army ambushed here. So we'll just crush them one at a time. Alright, Liu Bei can just move into reinforcement range. Guan Yu will do the finishing blow, although they're probably going to retreat. Yep. This river is a double-edged sword. Keeps the city safe, but also makes chasing people really tough. I'm thinking maybe we can scale them back. Save us a little bit of gold. Because they can't really help. Two armies more than enough. Unless we have any... I mean, I'm not, I'm not afraid of anyone here. And we can always arm them again real quick if we need to. I mean, this is safe. This is our western front. We have a administrator there. The south seems safe, at least right now. Okay. I think we're just gonna save a little bit of gold here. And apparently this army also doesn't get along. What happened between two? I thought you guys were fine. Well... Maybe it's time to find new partners. Because she only gets along with him, so maybe Zhou Tai and Jia Xu will get along, who knows. It's a shame these are level 8 and level 7. If we're doing new recruits, is what, level 2 right now? Maybe... Oh no, she has terrible traits, she doesn't deserve these. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we just recall her back and then keep it. Alright, she's gone. Zhou Tai is the only one that's important. Let's see, Jashu. Ah, good. They get along. 
Chen Gui is still not dead. I recruited him thinking he would die very soon, but he's not dying. Our farmer he gets along with. Uh, this is the young sentinel we recruited. Well, we'll, we'll throw Jashu in his army first. And then we'll worry about the third guy later. Alright. Um, he'll stay on the map. And that's it. I think we can go to next turn. Alrighty. New turn. Hmm. I guess the south is not so safe. Dongjo has asked their vassal to join the war, but Han Empire is usually very passive. Our spy got recruited. Wonderful news. Um, Stubborn versus resourcefulness. I think we definitely want resourcefulness, even though Stubborn does provide unbreakable. He's in court with us, so we're going to keep him happy. Oh, they're both in court with us. It's Grant Tudor versus Chancellor. Mm. Understanding, cordial... It's not a bad trait for potential administrator. It's Liu Bei's wife. Huh. Yuan Shu dumped her. Interesting. Yeah, she's decent. Let's take a look at our spies real quick. Yeah, we can probably check their family tree elsewhere. She's in the family. Hmm. It'd be interesting to see how they develop. You dumped your only other commander. So it's basically surrounding himself with girls. We have a hundred points of undercover network, so it's time to use that. I don't really care much about ministerial positions. We need to get more cover costs first. It's four per turn, it's not bad, but might as well get some more cover here. And we can also test how much added points. It's 15, I believe. That's only five. That's not that bad. All right, so now we know. Alright, boost it by 8. This is 5, so it'll balance out. And then we can do some more interesting things. We need to get here for the real interesting stuff. Ruling family. Um, speaking of family trees, we're doing quite well. Swin so still has one of our kid. Can't do anything about that. She's gonna come of age soon. He's going to come of age soon. Uh, this was not us. This is who Liu Bei adopted before we got him. These two are kids with the new wife. And let's see. It's Cao Cao. Ooh. Cao Cao, your dad stayed busy. How do you feel having a nine-year-old brother? Okay. Zhao Yun has died. Han oh my god. Executed. Poor guy. Is it executed by Han Fu or is it executed when he was with Han Fu? I think probably he was executed when he was with Han Fu. Probably by the yellow turbans. Well, that mystery is solved. We're not going to see him. Lü Bu has also died. Unfortunate event. Okay, so this is probably a story event where Dong Zhuo versus Lü Bu, but Lü Bu killed him. Oh wait, he came to our... He tried to spawn his own faction, right? And then we beat him, and then he went to Chen Gui, and then some event killed him. That's interesting. Don't know how that worked out. Oh, you have two kids with them. And their last names are Tall? I mean, your hat is very long, but apparently it's very green as well. Okay, this is a curious case of... Okay. 
Ah, Han Sui stole Ma Chao. Interesting. Cao Chun got adopted by Liu Zhang. Okay. What a messy tree here. Okay. Cao Song's wife, Lady Ding. Alright. Just adopting, I guess. All right, here's the tree we're most interested in. She's eight. He's 15. All right here, it doesn't show you have any kids, but she has other kids. So you don't know what you got yourself into, but I guess you're 50. I don't really have the money to divorce you right now, so. We're gonna just spare that expense and let you live with the effects. Alright, good job doing assignments. You're probably just gonna do assignments your whole life. Yep. So stay here. Now it does cost us a thousand gold. We could wait on it. Development's a little bit more important right now for us. All right, we got a couple of fight to do this turn. We got to take down Dong Zhuo's army. Ma Teng's other army has slipped past. But we don't really have a good way to deal with it, so we're just going to let them sail to wherever they want. I can't believe we can't reach anyone. The road system's terrible. He can fight. They can reinforce. Okay, we'll do that soon. Um, out here... Cao Cao has arrived with his wife and his advisor. Okay. They're going for one of these for sure. Hmm. Feels like we can't make the move against them anymore. We have to start pulling back. I'm guessing they definitely have night battle. So we're just going to stick close and go into ambush mode so we don't get picked off. They can just station here for now. Alright, let's get the buildings out of the way and then we can take care of our armies out west. Alright, we can easily do this, complete our mission. Also deal with fervor. Marketplace. There we go. Right, so here's where we want him, not him, him to come in. And while we wait, we still can't do this, right? Check one more time. Still only minus four. We need to bump this up, bump this up, and then we can upgrade that. Loyang. Still waiting for the entrepreneur. Alright, everyone's actually busy. Wait, I think we looked at these already. No, we didn't. No, we did. Hmm. Anyways, not interested. I can't believe we can't get back to them. Alright. So, they need to just get into reinforcement range here. They will just go on march then. That's the solution. To get into range here and back on the road. And they will actually launch the fight. Decisive victory. I actually kind of want to just, yeah, let me just take this delegate because we don't really want to fight a very slow moving reinforcement battle with tribuches. We'll take it. Look at that stoic face. 
Yeah, not much damage done. Yeah, Guan Yu is still very healthy. That's pretty much the key here. Zhan Ba. Hmm. Zhan Ba is a strong general historically. Dong Zhuo. Hmm. I guess we'll try to keep a good relationship. We're pulling back just because we don't know what they're going to do. Right, we should be fine. This army is not that threatening. They're beaten back. We'll see if anyone wants peace now. I doubt it. But next turn, when the values refresh. Oh, we don't even need to wait till the value refresh. He's going to give us a better deal next turn, though. But we could take it. It'll take us out of the war with the High Empire as well. I'm not exactly interested in Xiangyang or Pengcheng right now. We'll keep them as neighbors. Alright, it's fine. We'll peace out. Our goal is to make peace with the West. There we go. Hopefully, yep, that changes Ma Teng's mind too. I'm happy to just, yeah. Just give us whatever you deem fit. Let's see, who are we still at war with? Bianzhang's faction, one county. Han Sui, two counties. Liu Zhang. Not really worried about Liu Zhang. Their only way to attack us is through here. Okay. I think we're good. We have a trade agreement. Wait, oh, it broke off when we got the war with them. I don't want anything. Just give me the deal. Alright, that recovers our trade. I don't think we can create any vassals. At least not any really willing ones. I mean, Han Fu would be a decent option. We can try to negotiate to see if, how he feels about that. Because he yeah, does have a piece of our territory. Yeah, not not likely. So, that's it. And we can take a look at the map again for yeah, for diplomacy. Beigong Bo Yu. Han Sui. Liu Zhang. Di Wu An Xiu. That's such a weird name. I mean, Bian Zhang's faction may be a little bit of, um, you know, Qiang influence. That's why Beigong Bo Yu. Di, Di Wu An Xiu. Zhang Bao, Zhang Jiao. They're still alive. That's good news. Cao Cao is the headache. This guy is just making life tough on us. Okay, seems like we have pieced out with most factions here. We'll start scaling back their armies next turn. Right now, 10k income per turn is pretty healthy. We don't have to worry too much about it. A lot of cavalry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Technically, it counters us a little bit. But Chen Royal Guards are just so strong. Um, we should honestly consider swapping them. We do have the economy for it. But not now. We need them to fight right now. We could summon the army over here. He doesn't get along. She gets along, but she's a little weak. Let's do this. He actually has reach. Alright. Alright, there we go. Feel a little bit safer now. Let's continue. Oh, our spy got returned. No. 
They don't want that to happen. Alright, we got that done. Honest. Another mathematician. Alright, they're going for it. We're gonna... See if we can ambush trap them. Here. The idea is gonna try to trigger them to attack our three men right here. Like that. If they fall for it, they'll bump into the ambush first and we can wipe them out. They need to stay put for replenishment. If they siege us, they don't have si oh, they don't need siege weapons to fight fishing port. But I still feel safer if they sit there. Um, let's see here. We're doing super good. And we don't need this anymore because we took care of it. Because it's, it's easy for them to take care of it because they're on the edge of the map. They don't actually have many neighbors. Um, what should we build now? We can drop our public order a little bit with this and increase our income. Let's see, Beihai is down to zero too. This still needs the assignment to go down because we haven't fixed Longya yet. We gotta put it in Longya after their come next turn. Over here it's also done. And it's not gonna grow anymore because there's no, oh, nine neighboring counties. There's one here, there's one here. All right, so we need to stick someone here. We're just gonna stick them over there. It's gonna have similar effect. It'll go up a little bit, but then it'll go down again afterward. As long as it doesn't go up too fast. All right, this is fine. This army, however, I think is not needed anymore. Unless they turn around. Because it's not strong enough to wipe them out. Well, uh, actually... Actually... Yeah, it's not strong enough. So we might as well disband them. That's the opinion here. We'll pick out three generals to give a real army to very soon. We can definitely afford a real army. But we've just been very lazy in going with our militia. It's basically abusing Liu Bei's uh, special uh, background bonus. I mean, it's been working well for us. We've been expanding and getting all the areas under control. Alright, Chen is dropping pretty fast because of population. We're going to need an actual public order building. Yeah, but we have so much administrative population growth that we're not worried about it. But we still want this to go up. We'll probably do a military infrastructure. I mean, this just doesn't do much for us. 10 public order doesn't do much. 12 is probably the best here. If we go with this. This is the one bad thing about tall builds. Eventually we have to worry about rebellions. But they can't beat the city, that's the thing. Like even if we let rebellions run free, like they're not gonna take the large city with the garrison inside. Hmm. No, we're still upgrading, because tall build for income we need more population base. We have 11 gold left. We're making 12k a turn, but we're spending it all. We need that. We need that pretty soon. Alright, you can go to the bench for now as well. We'll find you a job soon. I'm going to keep them here. 
诸位，来共商所学之术吧。向前进军。I feel like we're disbanding this one too. We need to start thinking about where we want to expand next because I feel like we have hit pretty much everywhere in terms of our target that we could get easily. I think the direction should be going south. There we go. They really need a better way to do that. Mm. It's probably best to just recall. Can't select him. There we go. All right, so this army stays here defending our western front, which is really just these three commanders here. We are pretty busy here. I feel like we need to take this whole region here, and then get Jian Ye before we rank up to king, and then we gotta put our capital right here before we rank up to king. That's the key, because there's a very nice there's a very nice bonus. For uh, having uh, your emperor seat has an economic bonus. Are you guys willing to get vassalized? No. Then I think we should start preparing for war by getting rid of the deals with them. We'll lose out on trade. Do they have any allies? All right, so there's an ally alliance in the north. That's fine. It's very happy to have them. They're taking care of the yellow turbans. This coalition to bring balance is the one we've been fighting. It's huge, but it's very weak. Alliance of the hushed wind. Yuan Shu is here. That can spell trouble in the future. Although he's mostly forgiven us. Tao Tao is the one at war with us. We would really enjoy peace, but we gotta get that after we smash his army. She has no friends. Well, okay. I think that means we're gonna get ready for this war. Say goodbye to a thousand gold a turn. We can get it back. Can't do it. Oh yes, Yuan Shu, please. 朋友，欢迎。I would really like a good relationship with you. And to show our desire for a good relationship with you, we're gonna throw you five points for free, so you have plus forty. So you can see the difference. Plus fifteen. So five and fifteen are the two break points, where you get extra boost. Now give him an ox, a pig. Yeah, clay pig. Take it. Not bad, not bad. Um, Chu Gong is dead, but he's willing to pay for it, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's willing to pay for it. He's still making decent gold per turn from his fam family inheritance, but he's not willing to give us anything for it. So, so much for that. All right, we're good. We're shifting our allies. I think we're gonna try to keep Yuan Shu and Liu Zhi, uh, Lu Zhi, uh, Yuan, Yuan Shao and uh, Lu Zhi friends in the north. They're protecting our border essentially, because we're always gonna be fighting the yellow turbans together. So they're never gonna really hate us. The west is really shaky. Um, they like us, but they're fighting us. Same thing here. I am puzzled, but that's the way it is. And that's everything, because we are poor. We have 11 gold. Let's continue. Alrighty. They're back at war with the Yellow Turban Rebels. Okay. I wonder, did they did they wipe out Tao Tian's land over here? I think they did. So they did us a favor. Yuan Shao was attacking Tao Tian. So Tao Tian is down to three pieces. We are... Uh, let's see. We are friends with them. So I don't think we can just straight up backstab them at this point. 
We're already preparing to stab them in the back and also going to really stab them in the back. But we're doing it in a friendly manner where we tell them we're going to stab them in the back before we do it. Ma Xiu, member of the Ma family, who joined Dong Zhuo, who is probably here to spy on us, so pass. Cao Cao didn't land, but he pretty much parked his ship right outside of our port. Now it'd be really smart if he like wiggled his way back here to attack it, but we're just gonna get ready for it by ambushing right outside the port. And also throwing this army right here as bait. Right behind them. And just in case Cao Cao tries to outmaneuver us back to the port. Ah, uh, we disbanded the army. Hmm. I don't think he has the movement for it. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself. I feel like we should recall this group too. Alright, he got fired. As a spy. And I don't think he's willing... He can't spy anymore. I think his cover's blown. Yep, his cover's blown. So do we still want to keep him? Consider he only have spying traits. Right, so he's gone. But we definitely need someone to take care of the fervor here. Go at it. And then we need someone to take care of the fervor here. Oh, someone's ready. Hmm, beat us to the punch. Now, where is our farmer doing? He is in Yangzhou. We didn't have the money to take advantage of him, but now we do, so he can come back. And then we can also check our fervor situation. This one's slowly going down. We don't have any more fervor here. Dong has assignment active. This one's going back up because before Dong drops to zero, they're going to keep going up. Same in Longya. We might just throw him back. Yeah, this is the lazy method right now. Alright, hopefully Cao Cao falls for it. We're going to recall them so that we have all our generals on the bench so we can pick out a decent army. When we were looking at everyone's family trees, we didn't get to see Zhang Fei, so we don't know if he is alive or not in this campaign. Hmm. We only have one legendary strategist, so I think we should probably build around him, even though his items and skills are not that great. He has hidden strike. Um, doesn't do much. Okay, we'll still try to build from him. So if we're going to recruit him onto the field, let's get all the building expenses out of the way because his army is going to cost a little bit of gold and I don't want to delay any of the buildings. Don't lie. Don't lie. We just need to do this. Nanyang. This is worth it. Uh, we're not building this up yet. Market Wharf. Lumberyard waiting on that entrepreneur, which will happen soon once this market wharf goes all the way to rank 4. Which means we need a spying reform, which is actually quite difficult to get. It's just out of the way. Usually you never go here. Alright. Uh, we have extra spy available. She probably is getting close to 100 points each. 
really hoping she gets married into the family somehow. We have no control over that. Yuan Shu just needs a son. But he's currently using his wife as heir, so it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. She's the administrator of Jiangyang. Okay, that's fine. I think we're good. We'll wait a turn before we decide on the army that we want to summon out. And I don't even know where we would want that army. Oh, we know. We want it in Yangzhou. Because we're attacking Jianye. Right. So we're preparing for this offense. We're going to move our burn officers down. All the way to here. And we're going to summon an army here. Alright, who do you get along with? Let's just get a good idea right now. Zhang He. Not Guan Yu. That's sad. Oh my god, just Zhang He? Huh. That's awkward. Zhou Tai. No front line. Two, two cavalry officers. Our farmer. Okay, he's done his farming duty. I think we can maybe join him. So he's another burn officer. Okay, let's wait next turn, summon him, and see who he will get along with. That's it. Let's continue. Ah, Cao Cao fell for it. All that burns fell into our ambush. Now he's really overwhelmed. We have three times the manpower, so... Although it would have been nice to fight this, but I don't think we need to. I don't want to fight an ambush map. Because then all our range units can't fire at will, so... Sorry. I promise we'll have more chances to fight Tall in the future. Ah, uh, Lady Bian. Ah, do we want to... Oh, she's got new traits. She's no longer, um, sus she, yeah, she's, she's got friendlier traits. Well, if we, I'm not interested. He, he, she still rivals with Tal Tal. That's just so awkward. All right, we're just going to let her release. I want peace in the future. Oh, Zheng Jiang declared war on Tiao Ma. We're going to do the same thing. A new daughter. Technically, granddaughter for us. We're 57. We stayed unmarried. Just so that Dobe can have all the air situation ready. We're going to try to stay alive a bit longer. So that when Liu Bei takes over, we can have either the Imperial Court already. So that we have, you know, multiple positions to air bonus. Or that she comes of age. So survive for four more years. I think he can do it. And then we can get our daughter to be, you know, heir. And then if we can get Zhuge Liang through some magical situation, uh, we can marry Zhuge Liang to her. That's the long-term plan here. All right, we're going to give him all the leadership traits because he could likely end up in our Imperial Court in the future. All right, moment of truth in terms of officer happiness. It seems like this Bruin officer is coming out. And Zhou Tai still works. Zhang He no longer works. So Zhou Tai has to do the honors here. Okay. We're going to save up a bit of gold before we arm this group. But this group is going to be very interesting. We're going to do uh, four of... Oh, he's not high enough level. We can't fire. We can't uh, recruit Chen Royal Guards on him. Well, two siege weapons, four crossbow for now, and then four Chen Royal Guards, two Azor Dragons, and then he's high enough level to get Chen Peacekeepers, which means we can probably just spam these. So expensive, four thousand for one unit. At least the upkeep is reasonable. 
Yeah, so these are frontline unit with range will charge out to meet the enemy. Two flanks, and then these are kind of you know frontline range unit, backline range unit plus two siege weapons. I think that army would be pretty fun to play around with. And then we have the burn officer coming to boost it, and plus the burn officer on him, and plus the high cunning on him. It should be just a solid army all around. And then what we'll, their job is to get us a capital, so not an easy task. Cao Cao, we can still fight them. We're, we're gonna show you guys Cao Cao's end right here. Pathetic army gonna get mowed down by our ranged weapons. They can start repositioning themselves for assault on this iron mine. Hmm, this is probably the best route. We'll be joining them very soon. Hello, Cao Cao. Alright guys, uh, I made one small mistake. I should have moved our burden officers closer because they could have had patience and we could have increased our capture chance uh, for these generals. But this one is just going to be a for fun battle. It's Cao Cao's, you know, mistake to march over here with a naval assault. One that he will repeatedly miss, I'm pretty sure. They're going to keep coming. We're going to try to get a piece with them, but... Cao Cao is not one to forget, you know, grudges. Yeah, we might as well win this with a pretty army. Uh, not quite centered. Close enough. We're going to test out our new ability, so we're going to ride him out to the front. Well, Jin can just sit in the back. Good luck, Cao Cao. I would turn and run the other way. Because... We got one scary army. Alright, so apparently we do... 7.5k base damage. That's enough to kill him. Gotta get into range first. Oh, he fired it. He died! It worked! Wow, that's that's broken. Alright, wife is angry. Where's Cao Cao's horse? It's right there. It's multiple shots, it's not just one. Alright, we'll kill him. Two arrows kills him. Our shot do 2k. We're missing. We're missing. Oh, he died. I think we do more than 2k now with all the bonuses. Yeah, we have 1.2k armor piercing plus 2k regular. Ooh. She, she, has a, she has a counter range move. Well... Only 18 more seconds of that. Please come into our crossbow range. We really want to see all of them firing at one time. They're going to make it. Alright, she no longer has that. Let's try to use this ability again. Kind of want to see what it looks like on the receiving end. Ooh. Oh, it's armor piercing. It's each shot 7.5. No, together 7.5, right? It's so like four shots. Alright. All these trees are probably not going to hit. She's also moving. Oh, actually, let's go back. It's time to watch the crossbow show. You know what? For the crossbow show, we're gonna stop firing. This way they can actually charge at us. This is basically the line. 
Anything past here is uh, no man zone. Heavy tiger leopard. Well, 32% armor isn't going to do you any good. Let me ride back with them. Yeah, this ability is broken. It's not like Hail of Arrows where you kill multiple, you know, in a zone. But, you know, four straight shots. Definitely a general killer. They're going to get here. Come on, guys. They're not moving anymore. Okay, we go to them. Uh, that's not how we want to do it. We want to do this. You guys don't move. Let's go. Yeah, these guys are slower because they got the armor. These guys are faster. We're still not in range. Keep moving. Doesn't matter if they have archers or crossbowmen. We'll take the damage. Actually, we can give you guys range block chance. We don't actually need to take the damage. He's stuck. He's stuck behind a tribuche. Alright, we're in range. Even though the back groups aren't in range yet, once we start shooting at them, they should be moving towards us. Ah, they don't have ammo to shoot back at us. They have a few ammo, but they can't. This is Cao Cao's crossbow. Or Lady Bian's crossbow, man, probably. Cao Cao has pretty high cunning. Oh man, not really a good show, but impressive setup nonetheless. We can potentially double this by giving our burn officers Chen Royal Guards as well. But that's for the future. We're happy as right now. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's see if they're willing to take a peace deal now. Oh, Lady Ben died. She didn't have resiliency. Oh, she didn't die. We have a chance to let her live. We were going to let her live again. She doesn't get along with her own faction. Alright, some extra experience. Alright, we're no longer interested in Cao Cao's force. We're only interested over here. And we're gonna march just to get there a little faster. Gonna join them. Now, Cao Cao did give us a plenty of gold to work with. Alright, this is the one we really desperately want. The extra pub uh, public order boost. It's mainly because Fervor. Fervor dies down, we'll be okay here. We only have two more turns of that. A little bit awkward. Uh, we'll figure things out. Chen. Alright, finally for the last build. We need public order help because of population. This just got the beat away, I think. Yeah, it's super cheap to build because we've got so many agricultural buildings. Over here, don't lie. We don't really have to wor worry about much because population growth is not so heavy here. We could just gain more food production because we're a little bit on short on food. Alright, this finally leveled up. We can definitely keep this. 50, 20, 135. So the conversion here is really worth it. And we probably want to throw... Alright, we don't have any more commanders around. So maybe we'll wait on that. That's fine. That's fine. 
Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we don't have enough food. We can wait on the upgrade here. The public water can hold out for a little bit. Three turns. I think we'll have enough food by three turns, but the cost is a little bit daunting. Maybe we'll let her take care of that situation for us. Um, this is good. Still waiting on that entrepreneur. Eventually, we should upgrade this too. All right, two things to think about. Now, let's see. This army's in the water. Could be threatening us. The trade poor is the most delicate. We could probably change their direction. We don't really need them here. They can go here. And then this group can take care of that by themselves. And then we're fine. Um, elsewhere... Liu Zhang sent a really pathetic army. Right. Let's just wipe that out. And maybe get a peace deal with them. Yeah, we're just gonna release both. Now, why did she escape this way? Okay, um, I think we're good. We got all the buildings done. We picked out an army. Now, it would be ideal if we could level up Yangzhou. So we can put them here. They're coming down to join them here. The ideal strategy is to get this into a small regional city, which will be pretty quick. Pop down conscription building real quick, give them a high level army, and then get rid of it and build it properly. Alright, let's uh, take another turn here. Oh, Yeshua is talking to us again. Asking us for a legitimacy. We're going to pass. Okay, Chugong has died, so I think the faction is over. Oh no, died of old age, then the faction is not over. Zhang Yan. Oh, hello there. We're going to be grabbing him for sure. Uh, development over here is that... Ooh, Tao Tian has... Is he aggressive towards them? I don't know. No, not at war. Okay, so they can't take it. Yeah, I don't want him as a neighbor. I want the Han Empire as a neighbor. Yeah, this army is troublesome. We're going to reinforce the port. They don't have siege weapons, so they can't really take the city. And the livestock farm is also within range. That's not great, but we can't do much about it. Alright, we can strike them next turn. How come our movement's less than them? I have reach and I have overseer. I should have more movement. Right, I think we actually need to be on march. Can you guys get off the highway? Alright, that's as close as we can get for the strike. Energetic. Alright, very fast moving grandson. Alright, we're just gonna straight up recruit him at this point. Um, so Zhang Yan, his armor gives him fatigue immunity. So very, very strong character. He was with Yuan Shao, but he left. Wanna be our grand commandant? Is this another burned officer? No, okay. I was getting a little excited there. These could be spies. Don't see is not that impressive off my memory. She's young, cowardly, clumsy, cautious, terrible. Alright, I'm gonna pass on her. I 
he's a de he's a decent court official in the future, but I don't think we're going for that right now. All right, well, we got Zhang Yan, which begs the question: Does Zhang Yan get along in this army? Because we have a situation here where Cao Ang is actually knocking on the doors of Yang Zhou, so we might not be able to wait for that conscription building here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop him out. And we're going to see if Zhang Yan fits here. If he does, we're going to use Zhang Yan instead. Oh, he doesn't hate it. That means we're using Zhang Yan instead. Although the other guy's a burn officer, but might as well feature Zhang Yan. So you're going to go back and continue your farming traditions. He doesn't have reach, but he's one away from getting reach. Zhou Tai already has reach. Zhou Tai probably should lead this army then. Yeah, Zhang Yan should get Binding Fury next. Flame of the Phoenix, Earth and Rampart. Eventually, this is useful. So is this. So he has Unbreakable. Fatigue immunity plus Unbreakable, which is amazing. And in the future, if we make him our leader. Or not leader, but like one of the leadership positions. 25% post-battle loot income. Faction-wide ignore forest penalties. And plus 5% chance of ambushing for his own army. Interesting. He has a lot of different bonuses. Let's give you this. Let's also give you... We don't have anything good for you. We can steal it from someone else. Like him. Who I think has been recalled back to the court. No, he's still on the battlefield? I don't see him. Here he is. Yep, no longer on the battlefield. We're just gonna... yeah... Take all your stuff. Maybe this is better. Shield wall... I mean, shield wall is not gonna be relevant. This is probably better instinct and authority and then we're going to give you this for resolve and military supplies and we actually accidentally completed a set plus two starting rank for all recruit for old retinue that is completely accidental yeah we're really lacking horses um the question is do we want to keep black mountain marauders in our army cod scare glut deployment assault roll um, they have Raider trait, not that useful, but resistant to fatigue, scare. They're okay. You know, the new axe units are decent against shield, but they don't have a shield themselves, so they're going to be vulnerable to that. It's just a matter of fact, do we want to keep Zhang Yan's bandit tradition alive? My tendency is no, just because we have such better units to recruit. Like, wouldn't it be better to give him Azor Dragons and Chen Royal Guards? Hmm. Because we can't undo this if we get rid of it. 32 attack rate. 36 armor piercing damage. High melee evasion, high charge. I think we're gonna, yeah, I think we're gonna change them. So he's gonna lead. Plus when we swap, we get so much more levels because he has the items on him. So we're gonna swap him. Swap him. Uh, he's gonna do this. We can't afford it yet. That's unfortunate. Okay. So he might have to go empty right now. We need what? We need 25, 24k to afford that? It's just insane amount. Uh, we have a better item for him. Him. And we'll get that next turn. Actually, we can do this, because he's not high enough level yet. 
All right, we're gonna steal Zhang He's stuff because Zhang He is currently sitting on the bench. Uh, Zhang He can take the silver one once we flood. There we go. Hmm, who has a silver weapon? Actually, I don't think anyone has a silver weapon. Luo Jun has one. Alright, we want Zhang He's spear too. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I think defensively we should be fine against them. And we need to get the burn officers to come a little bit faster. Alright. So we can attack them next turn. We're in defensive position here. They could assault the, lum uh, the livestock farm. Hopefully they won't. Over here, Liu Bei needs to pull back. We can't reach them, can we? Nope. Let's just go here, in case they keep going down. We can pick a new reform. We probably want to continue what we're doing here with the uh, private workshop. It's not worth going out of the way for level 4 marketplace yet. This is going to be more beneficial right now. Oh, we could have saved money. Oh, silly me. Instead of recruiting this army, we could have promoted someone to Grand Commandant and then would have saved a bunch. We can still save a bunch on the Chen Royal Guards. Right, he doesn't get along here. It has to be a Vanguard or Champion. It doesn't have to be, but I prefer it that way. Now, I doubt we can find one. Oh, Xun Shuang. Yeah, he's old. He's 70 already. We're about to say goodbye to him. 10%, 200 extra gold per turn. 10% cost is going to be pretty significant on the Chen Royal Guards. It means we can recruit it next turn. So I think we're going to throw him in here and then do the Invoke Faction Council. Which is available right now. Alright, Settlement Upgrade, Assign Someone to Grand Director, Settlement Upgrade, Temple. Alright, might as well go the entire way, but I doubt we can find a Grand Director who's going to be happy with everyone. Let's just see, it doesn't matter. If it, if we don't worry about class... Alright, Lobe's wife would work. Maybe. I mean, we just have double the strategist boost and we don't get the retinue boost, discount boost. It means it's possible, it just means we don't have the right person for it. All right, so he will eventually die. He's 57. I think this is fine too. Gong Sun Zan has, you know, 50%. Hmm. Yeah, let's throw him in here. Alrighty. Uh, so our food production's up, which means we can start splurging on settlement upgrades. Let's see, we finally have this as a small regional city. We've been waiting to get this building up, which will drop our public order, but will help our fervor situation. I think we can officially retire this guy. Alright, we're just going to level that up. Um, farmland. Although food is not so urgent now. Alright, we might throw a farmer in here soon. We're just going to convert these.
Yangzhou. All right, we're out of cash again. Where is this guy? In Chuan. All right, we want to upgrade it one more time, but that's going to take a lot of gold. All right. We're going to just do this end turn. We're going to we're going to end our episode at the start of the next turn. Oh, Chu Gong's faction's offering us some payments for a non-aggression pack with a faction that doesn't have any land. Happy to accept. Alrighty. We're going to end our episode here. I think we didn't progress much in terms of, you know, expanding land this episode, but we got a lot of peace out of the way. We're only still at war with Cao Cao's faction. Um, I could have pieced out with them last turn, but since it had an army nearby, I kind of want to see what happened. It's moving, you know, not towards us, but it's in the river, so it's kind of annoying. Um, we can probably offer them peace, see what they say. Over here, once we crush Liu Zhang's little force here, we can probably offer him peace as well. And we haven't seen an army by Han Sui yet, but he has the most ground to cover to reach us. Not worried here. The yellow turbans have fought back. Zhang Jiao is strong. He's beaten back Zheng Jiang, which is good. We want a delicate balance here. We don't want them to die off. Uh, next episode for sure, we're going to be grabbing Dong's Iron Mine, and then we might start thinking about uh, sending our main army by the sea down here to the farmland of uh, Zhou Xing's faction, which is now controlled by Dai Jin Wan, and we're going to send this completed army uh, we we'll probably have to save money for a little bit to recruit the new troops. And then we're going to land them over here, grab Jian Ye, so that we can transfer our capital over there. Uh, our current capital is in, in Chuan. Uh, it's not great. It's only, you know, have a farmland and it's kind of exposed. We're going to shift our capital to uh, Jian Ye over here. Since he still control all three pieces, we can easily grab all three. And our neighbors are relatively weak. And we can continue to expand south and actually, you know, fight Cao Cao if he doesn't want a peace offer. I wouldn't mind that at all. So that's the direction we're going. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you all next time. Bye!